Dr. Fred Coville of Cornerstone Plastic Surgery joins us now with his feature, Ask Dr. Fred. So let's jump right in. Pat from Margate asks, what's the big deal about going to a plastic surgeon anyway? My gynecologist says he has a machine to make me slimmer and my family doctor does Botox. What do you do that's so different? Well, good morning, Pat, and thank you for that question. Because this is an important issue that I think really needs some clarity, I'm going to take a little bit more time if that's okay. So, um, so yeah, it takes about 9 and to 11 years of training to become a properly trained plastic surgeon. That's the longest training of any surgical specialty there is. Because we operate all over the body and use very specialized techniques, it just takes that long to learn. You want someone caring for you that is not only an expert at the procedure he or she is performing for you, but also someone who has a broad range of experience. So if something unfortunately does go, doesn't go quite right or if there's a complication, they know how to take care of you and keep you safe. But training is not the only reason. I believe that I see the world differently from how a cardiac surgeon or a family doctor sees it. My personality, my sense of artistry, and an appreciation for beauty and function have been a part of me since childhood. I knew what I wanted to do when I was a teen. So that has been my focus since a very young age. I and my plastic surgery colleagues didn't come into the specialty as an afterthought. It's simply who we are. So plastic surgery is about restoring and improving form to people who have difficulties. Sometimes it means reconstructing a breast after cancer or someone's face after trauma. Sometimes it means fixing a child's smile who was born just a little different. And sometimes it means helping turn back the changes that time takes on all of us. So to be a true master of these things takes a sense of artistry and lots of experience and tremendous skill. But more importantly, it takes focus. You don't want me delivering your first child. I haven't done that since medical school. But you do want me to rejuvenate your face. That's what I've studied my entire career. That's what I do. That's what I love. So I hope that answers your question, Pat. It's all about the quality of your results. So please keep those questions coming, and we'll see you all next week. All right, thanks, Dr. Fred. And if you have a question regarding plastic surgery or aesthetic medicine for Dr. Fred, go to our website, NBC40.net, and click on Ask Dr. Fred. Dr. Fred will answer your questions here on Today in South Jersey every Wednesday morning.